Hello everyone, good morning. I'm Varun. Welcome to part 5 of application demonstrating Spring Boot security with crude operations using Spring Boot RESTful API, Hibernate, JPN, MySQL. This is the last video of this application wherein I'll be building the class which extends the web security configure adapter. Uh, after uh, once I after finishing this demo, I'll upload this a code, entire code in this particular GitHub repository. So one can always download the entire source code from this URL, uh, which is this, uh, which is my URL, github.com forward slash button CBV and this particular. Uh, please note, take note of this URL. All right, let me proceed to the development of the class which extends the web security configure adapter in my application uh, please go to this particular folder and define a class called new class web security config click finish this class will extend web security configuration adapter configurer adapter okay here okay I have to tell that this is the place where this authentication or the security logic has to be performed so for that I make use of two annotations configuration and adequate enable web security so basically these annotations tell the application that security has to be performed for the crude operation before any crude operations can be performed so okay next i'll define private user detail service space this will be this Okay, I'll auto wire this the rate auto wire okay next I define public B crypt password encoder here I'll say return new Okay, I'll say this at the rate B. Okay, the next step is I'll use protected void configure. HTTP security space HTTP throws exception okay uh, import those dependencies
Okay. Here, I will make use of HTTP dot authorize request dot any request dot fully authenticated and this authentication I say that it should be HTTP basic and I disable the CSRF filters. So this command basically does all the magic. It basically tells that whatever request that a user types in has to be fully authenticated and this authentication has to be of type basic. Okay. Uh, there's another method or at the rate auto wire. Okay. We define it as public void configure global okay authentication manager builder space auth throws exception okay to which import this dependency okay then i'll say a auth dot user details service dot password encoder to which I pass okay this method again is just for a reference in case you want to encrypt the password then we are we have to make use of this all right that's it so once I went configured this class, I'll save it. Let me build, uh, do a Maven build. Okay, if you see the Maven build is successful. Now, let me configure okay the tomcat server is already there let me start the application i'll right click on my employee application dot java and run as java application and let's see the server st get started if there are no errors then there will not be any issues while starting the server Okay, the server is started. Now, let me go to my postman. Double click on postman. Please hold on for a few seconds for this for the postman to open.
Mm, something wrong with my postman. One minute. Okay, uh, there seems to be some issue with my post mine, so sorry for that. Uh, once you after starting the server, after starting the server, there's another way of checking if my authentication is working or not. Uh, let me open Google Chrome, okay. Uh, here, I'll say HTTPS. localhost colon 8080 forward slash employees uh, sorry company company forward slash employees oh, so it's http c Whenever I enter this URL, my web security is coming into effect. Actually, I wanted to show using the postman. Let me give a last try. Uh, due to some reason, my post uh, the postman application is not opening. However, in my first demo or first video, I've shown you uh, how after configuring this entire code, how get operation post delete and other operations are performed so uh, please check my first video how to perform all these operations if you still have any doubt you can directly uh, download the code or if you are getting any error i'll upload the code into this github repository uh, you can download the code from this repository uh, from this url as well thank you that's it from my end